Good morning, everyone. My name is pharmacist Timizi Imika, an intern pharmacist at the University of Edinburgh Teaching Hospital. And I'll be presenting on the World Breast Cancer Month for the year 2022. The World Breast Cancer Month is celebrated for every October, from October 1st to October 31st. Breast cancer is one of the leading types of cancer which affects all genders, especially females. In the year 2020, female breast cancer became the most commonly diagnosed cancer type globally. About 2.26 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer and about 685,000 women died from the disease. The symptoms of breast cancer include the following, lump in the breast, pain in the breast or armpit, discharge from nipples. There are certain risk factors which predispose individuals, especially females, to breast cancer. Number one, age. Any woman greater than 35 years is, has a greater risk of experiencing breast cancer. The second risk factor is gender. It affects more of females. Third risk factor is the postmenopausal obesity. An individual has a BMI of greater than 30 kilo, kilogram per square meter has a greater risk of experiencing breast cancer. The fourth risk is the use of combination menopausal hormone therapy. Individuals that use menopausal hormone therapy in a combined form has a greater risk of experiencing great breast cancer. Also, alcohol use, history of chest radiation, and extremely dense breasts as compared to fatty breasts. These are the following risk factors that can predispose individuals to breast cancer. There are certain risk calculators which we use to calculate if an individual is predisposed to breast cancer and is of two types. We have the NCI gill risk calculator and the tyracosic risk calculator. Using the NCI gill risk calculator and having a value greater than 0.67%, an injury stands a greater risk of having breast cancer in a period of five years. And how do you prevent that? Prevention is by the use of chemotherapy. Now, according to the tyracosic calculator, having a value of about 20 to 25% is considered a lifetime risk. It simply means that an individual that has greater than 20 to 25%, according to tyracosic, has a tendency of experiencing breast cancer in one point of time in his life. Approximately 5 to 10% of breast cancer are hereditary, and they are basically due to gene mutation, which are the BRC1 and BRC2 gene mutation. How do you prevent breast cancer? There are two major ways by which you prevent breast cancer. We have the primary and the secondary. According to the primary, we have the reduced risk factor and also chemo prevention. For the secondary, you do screening. Now for the reducing risk factor, there are three major points we use to prevent breast cancer primarily. Number one, encouraging breastfeeding. The risk of developing invasive breast cancer decreases by 4.3% for every 12 months of breastfeeding. It simply means that a woman who breastfeed has a low tendency of experiencing breast cancer as compared to a woman that does not breastfeed. And number two, avoiding hormone replacement therapy. It is best in the, in the interest of a woman to avoid hormone replacement therapy. According to research, it has shown that using hormone replacement therapy greater than five years is associated with a 35% increased risk of breast cancer versus never users. The third reduction in risk factor is avoiding consumption of alcohol. Consuming alcohol increases the risk. So therefore, reduction in consumption of alcohol would therefore reduce the risk of developing breast cancer. Now for the chemo prevention, it involves the use of drugs. There are certain drugs which we use to prevent breast cancer and they are tamoxifen, riloxifen, and XMS-10. About 50-60% of breast cancer are resolved following chemotherapy. Now according to the secondary ways of preventing breast cancer, we have screening. Number one, under the screening, you have self-breast examination. To prevent breast cancer, and a woman needs to consistently and constantly examine her breast to be able to see if there is any increase in lump size, pain in the breast, or any change in the integrity and texture of the breast. The number two way of screening is clinical breast examination, which is done in the hospital. Number three is use of ultrasound, and number four is mammography. There are different ways by which we detect, and they are one, self-examination, two, clinical breast examination, and three, mammographic screening, according to how it is shown on the screen. How do we diagnose breast cancer? Now, there are three major ways by which we diagnose breast cancer. We have the clinical diagnosis, 
the pathological diagnosis, and the imaging and lab test diagnosis. From the clinical, it involves biopsy, clinical breast examination, and pre-operative needle localization. Therefore, the pathological, it means interpretation of the biopsy and determination of reporting margin status. For the imaging and lab test, it involves diagnostic breast ultrasound plus diagnostic mammography. How do we treat breast cancer? Breast cancer can be treated from using the following three methods. Number one, surgery. Number two, radiation therapy. Number three, systemic therapy. In conclusion, breast cancer remains the leading malignancy affecting women worldwide. It is possible to prevent both primarily and secondarily by regular self-examination of the breast and proper screening in health facility. Together we can, according to the motto and the slogan for this year's breast cancer awareness, the C stands for change in the conversation. It simply means that we as healthcare professionals should be able to enlighten individuals, women, especially women, on the necessity to do the self-breast examination and also enlighten them on what breast cancer is. A means assisting those impacted by breast cancer to get the information they deserve and need. YN is nurturing and building a community of support. If we're able to do the three things highlighted from the slogan, we'll be able to achieve and reduce the increase in the incidence of breast cancer. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for this short presentation. My name is pharmacist Meze Emeka, intern pharmacist at the University of Illinois Teaching Hospital. Thank you, sirs and mas.